सो हेलो लर्न वेलकम टू यूर पीडिया एजुकेशन टूडे वी आर एट आई टी मंडी आई गोट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू इंटरेक्ट विद तुषार जैन हु इज द लैब इन चार्ज ऑफ कंट्रोल एंड ऑटोमेशन सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम एंड थैंक्स फॉर स्पेरिंग टू मिनट फॉर अस थैंक यू सो इट वॉज क्वाइट अमेजिंग टू सी दैट यू नो इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग इंट्रेक्शन इन आर कैबिन Mm. you bring on all of us to you know lives infrastructure here and we can see what kind of setup is done being here in the iit mandi under your supervision mm. right true mm. true so it's an you know great opportunity for our audience and viewer and listener to learn how basically real time projects are working how you can utilize the knowledge of tools and technology and how you can automate the things not in electronics and communication only in other domains also like agriculture which is the biggest indian sector of the in term of the economy So, sir, can you brief about the entire process? What is being set up here, and what okay. are the different component? And very first thing is that, you know, what is the purpose of this basically, sir? So, thank you, thank you, visiting IIT Mandi and capturing this, the lab. So, this lab is basically the what we call the climate controlled agriculture. Right. So, the idea here is that we want to create the artificial environment okay. within the closed poly houses, right, right, right. so that you can grow. the vegetable or the some cash crops okay. around the year irrespective of whether it is an off season okay. or an on season for a particular right, crop right, right. so we create the environment by controlling the temperature right. humidity okay we do the carbon dioxide enrichment also right we control the illuminance right. as well so this is the idea of this climate control agriculture facility yeah. and this is in fact a multidisciplinary right multidisciplinary in the sense that it's not about the control and automation right, right. obviously whatever the whatever it sees so or look like from the outside it is completely based upon some embedded system or right. some automation okay. like while you are seeing some water flowing into this um which basically cools out the internal environment okay. or you see this ventilation fan as well okay which is on the on the on the back of yours okay so this is one way of controlling the humidity and the temperature right so this is um, like i say i was saying from the outside it looks like it is a project related to the agriculture great right. right but it is not the agriculture only right. agriculture is the implementation of several technological background so one is the control and automation yeah. second is the water engineering right, right, right. third is the bio engineering right and also the most important aspect is the humanities because ultimately we want to take this thing to the farmers ultimately you are solving the real world issues the real world issues. are existing there in the you know no. problem see many time i have seen the student who are doing mtech and even who are pursuing phd they keep on asking that what research problem we need to mm. take into consideration so that we can work on this see mm. what i believe in daily or social life we have various problem we need mm. to start work on that this is one of the real example of that true so sir since when you have started this entire setup so this project we started uh, last year itself okay. so it's been almost 5 uh, to 6 months okay and it took a lot of of our efforts right. in fact to just initiate the seed right. of this project so okay. because first of all this thing solves the local problem right. or the global issue right, right. of food scarcity right, right right now the soil is being depleted right, right, right. the food is becoming scarce True. right the climate is changing so fast that whatever whatever be is the on season for a particular crop now the cycle the weather cycle has changed right. so now how we can solve this problem this uh, technology addresses all those challenges so i want to come here what is the novelty of this entire mm. technology i believe definitely contemporary work is being yeah. done regarding True. this domain right True. so what is the novelty of this entire setup yeah. basically so the novelty basically comes from the theoretical aspects right and also the implementation of those theoretical aspects right, right, right. so this technology like you said is quite popular in the netherlands right, right, right. because 90 to 95 percent of their production is coming from this climate control technology right, right, right. now iit mandi has taken an initiative right. so that it can also addresses the local problem okay and finally reach to the local right, right. farmers so that they can maximize their profits right, without right. likewise since we are in the lap of himachal pradesh right here we don't have the cold storage oh, oh. now if we want to say for example if you see this uh, strawberries yes so these strawberries are the perishable crop 
right, right, right. So the farmers need to sell all these things or through through some distributor oh. so that it can go to the market right. quickly. Before, well in time. Well in time before it uh, becomes bad. Yeah. Now with this controlled environment agriculture, you can extend right. the life of this also. So the novelty comes from the theoretical aspect right. and also the technology that we are going, we are developing within IIT. So you told that uh, you are trying to make it automated, right? So yeah. what are the different tools and technology you have incorporated to make it yeah. automated? So likewise here you see that uh, we have the foggers installed. Okay. Now here we have the drip irrigation, okay. which is uh, autom uh, which is totally controlled that how much water right. should go into the crop. Right, right, right. And we are also controlling the nutrients within the water. So how you are monitoring them with some sensors or what? Yes, so we have installed, say for example for the temperatures, we have installed the temperature sensors, right, right. we have the humidity sensors, okay. so we are measuring uh, temperatures and humidity of the inside environment right, right. and also of the outside environment. So what is the basically authenticity of this data? Is it a real time data? We it are is a real time data. Okay. We can, we can also show you that this data is being collected in real time and the decisions are also being done in real time right. likewise if you see now the outside it's hot right but oh. now because all of you are here inside it's cold well, and the this kind of weather is required by the strawberries for example okay. now let's say we have also grown the radish beetroot okay. earlier so that crop requires a different uh, let's say the environmental conditions right, right. Okay. so just a case study what we had done so we in another poly house so we have installed two poly houses okay and this is just an experimental facility right. where we are capturing the data right. and doing the cost benefit analysis from the farmer's point of view also right because finally we want to make them entrepreneurs right right right, right? that so, was coming next yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, so just one case study in the uh, another poly house we had grown radish oh. and we had grown beetroot oh. So first of all, if you now this has been already sell, sold to the local market. Okay. So in the, if you see the size of this poly house, it is not more than 35 to 40 square meter. And in this kind of a structure, we have grown almost 40, 40 to 45 kgs of right, right. Uh, radish. Right. And every radish is is quite healthy. We have also right. done the uh, the nutrients analysis. Okay. That uh, that how much nutritional value this right. radish contains right. in comparison to if you do the open field farming uh, and we are not putting any urea or no any local fertilizers it okay. is completely yeah, uh, professor really Tushar, here yeah. i want to interrupt you a bit yeah now you are working on this since last five to six months yeah so definitely there might be a lot of literature review and paper work related to this right True. See, this question I am asking from the behalf of the researchers, yes. aspiring researchers. True, true. So now today, you know, it seems very great and yeah, the yeah. is here, the outcomes are coming, <laughs> right? The initial stages, frustration and failure, yeah. we can't see here. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, you know, what are those key things according to you, which mm. one budding researcher or aspiring yeah. researcher should keep in the mind that these are the obstacles, they mm. might occur in the beginning stages, but yeah. if we overcome, then definitely experimental result will come surely. True. It is an old saying like, if there is an island in the in the pond or in the river, the strength of that island is not measured by the height of that island. Right, right. What you see from the outside, true, true, true. what is inside? Inside. <laughs> yeah. So you are correct in that sense. But although we have started implementing this facility in the last five to six months, but the literature work, the algorithm part, we have been developing for the last four to five years. Okay. So in our research lab, we have developed the theoretical algorithms right, right. that could be finally implemented right, right, right. in this, the literature review as right. well. So it is a really a hard work of last four to five, six years. Right. But now the results, what you are seeing is of the last five That's what months. I asked you. That's why I asked you this question, right? And second thing yeah. is that, you know, most of the students who are being getting graduated, True. BITEC especially, and you know, they believe control and automation is only about the control system, mm -hmm. which they studied in the BITEC, right? True. True. So they know the subject from the, you know, mm -hmm. basically engineering point of view, mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. theoretical point of view. Yeah. They don't exactly know the application of the subject. And mm -hmm. because of which I believe, students believe in coming time, we need to go towards the branches which are, you know, yeah. technology enabled like AI and mm -hmm. ML. Mm -hmm. Control and automation, I believe, is mm -hmm. one of the great branch which can be effectively implemented yes. with this technology, right? What is your take on this? You are correct. 
because control system since i have been working in control system almost like 15 to 16 years last Great. 15 to 16 years Great. so in fact my masters my phd my my stay at iit mandi everything was in control systems basically so it is obviously interdisciplinary right, right, right. now you should one or the student should not see control system as some separate branch right right, right? now if the student is from civil engineering right, right, right. if the student is from bio engineering right now you are in the agriculture right so everywhere you see the application of control system right, right, right. so it is the what i would say one ball which con- which is connected to all the other balls right, right, right. so this obviously the it is a difficult subject from the theoretical point of view right, right. because being an engineering students students from the background what we have seen earlier in the past their mathematical background is not so solid right true, true. because of which it appears in the first go that it is a very quite difficult subject right, right, right. but one, and it is not different from what we do in engineering let's say linear algebra and vector calculus and that's all so now if we talk about this data science right. or everything so this we are also doing it here right, right. so just one example of this now say for example i need i want to measure the the quality okay okay this is the quality what you are seeing right, right from the outside right but now if i want to see that whether this fruit has ripened or not true there are two ways either i take it to the lab true and do the nutritional analysis right, right 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 now another way of doing this how we are doing this we are taking the images of right, the crop right, right. so and then absolutely. we are doing the uh, model data analysis. model analysis crop growth analysis right, right. to in real time so right. that by the texture of the of the leaf or by the health of the leaf right. we can say that what is the right time right. of right. this thing right. so we are also integrating this uh, artificial intelligence machine learning within the control system right. Right. and one of the application is obviously this is a, i mean wh- uh, why not everyone uh, would like to have the strawberries <laughs> <laughs> strawberries is a, is a, is a is a what so i guess most of the professor <laughs> are getting strawberries from this yeah yeah definitely <laughs> and they are liking it so you should also test फार्मर बिकॉज He is okay. less educated. Yeah, right, right, right. Or he does not have the money. Lack to of opportunity. Lack of opportunity. Right. But now, whatever his or her expertise in, right, right. because I can definitely say that at this age, I am not that much of expert in agriculture. So oh. then those farmers which who they who are who are working since their childhood. Right, right, right. Right. But it just what we are trying to connect the technology with their expertise, right, right. so that they can. themselves become the entrepreneurs right, 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 right and they and we are also facilitated because the idea is to scale up to the acres of land oh great and the farmers do not need to send their crops at the lower price right, right. to the distributors in in the plains yes 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 in the need of our in the need of our at the need of our right. true true so this is the scalability what we are projecting right, right so in this experimental facility we are doing the data analysis modeling or whatever the technology intervention is required from the iit mandi point of view okay. but ultimately the farmers does not need to know all this thing right, 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 right what he or she needs to know that how he can learn and make this technology work you will uh, you know make a ready made product for them ready made right? product of them and we are also organizing the training okay of the farmers right. so right now we have 20 to 25 farmers okay. associated with us okay. who comes and they get trained on to this technology that how to operate this sensors how to measure the data so how do you select those farmers is a random way of no so in the initial first phase so some of the farmers have already the poly houses right but they are just growing the they are the manually controlled poly house manually in the sense say for example they want to do the ma- ventilation right, right. so they have some window right, which right, they right. open and then the ventilation start like they, they the want to involve the equipment and manpower yes, into that yes, without true. going for the technology yeah true so this is how we are training them 
and getting to know that how this thing works right, right, right. if this thing becomes faulty then how you can repair right, right, right. all these things right, 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 right. yeah so professor kushar thank you so much yeah. for giving that much valuable insights <laughs> yeah, thank you so much so i would suggest that you should sir, are you <laughs> देखेंगे भी कि जो है और इसमें हमने कुछ भी फर्टिलाइजर्स यूज नहीं किया डिलीशियस यस टोटल ऑर्गेनिक या कैन दे हैव द प्लेजर ऑफ ऑन प्लीज या डेफिनेटली या या